हाय स्टूडेंट वेलकम टू परफेक्ट क्लासेस माजल गाव इन प्रीवियस वीडियो वी कंप्लीट द प्रैक्टिस सेट 1.1 इन द फर्स्ट चैप्टर सिमिलरिटी हियर विथ इज वी सी द बेसिक प्रोपोर्शनैलिटी थ्योरम इट इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थ्योरम इन दिस चैप्टर द स्टेटमेंट ऑफ द थ्योरम हियर आई राइट ऑन द बोर्ड द स्टेटमेंट इज इफ अ लाइन पैरेलल टू अ साइड ऑफ अ ट्रायंगल इंटरसेक्ट द रिमेनिंग साइड्स इन टू डिस्टिंक पॉइंट्स then the line divides the sides in the same proportion this is the statement of our theorem to solve or to prove any statement any theorem first we read the statement carefully from the given statement we derive the theorem here the statement we read carefully here there are two parts in this statement which are the two part one part is starting from if and one part is starting from then the part starting from if it is known as given this is the given part of our theorem and the part starting from then this part is known as to prove here what is the given from to solve any theorem or to prove any theorem first we construct figure of that theorem how to construct the figure of theorem from the given part we construct the figure here i will construct the figure what is the given part if a line parallel to a side of a triangle here we construct a triangle first we construct any triangle here i construct a triangle name the triangle what you want here i name the triangle abc here if a line parallel to a side of a triangle we construct a line parallel to a side of a triangle here i construct a line l which is parallel to side bc name the line l here line l is parallel to side bc this is parallel to side bc then triangle intersect the remaining sides in two distinct point therefore this line is intersect remaining two sides in two distinct point which are the two distinct point this line intersect side ab and side ac in point here we name the points p and q therefore the line l is intersect the side ab at p and intersect the side ac at q this line is intersect these two sides in two distinct point from the given information we will construct the figure here i will write what is the given part i say to you the given part of any theorem is the same sentence starting from if the sentence starting from if is the given part of the theorem here the starting part or the sentence starting from if is if a line parallel to a side of a triangle if a line parallel to a side of a triangle intersect the remaining sides in two distinct point intersect the remaining two sides in two distinct point therefore here in triangle we will write in triangle abc in triangle abc line l line l parallel side bc parallel side bc i will write here here line l is parallel to the side bc then what is the remaining or we will write side line l line l intersect line l intersect side ab side ab at point p and side ac at point at point q this line is intersect these two sides at point p and q therefore we complete the given part of this theorem now to prove what will be to prove here i will write to prove to prove to prove means to prove means the part starting from or the sentence starting from then it is called to prove here the sentence starting from then is then the line divides the side in the same proportion then the line divides the sides in the same proportion therefore here line l is divide side ab and side ac in the same proportion i will write here therefore what is the to prove here to prove is this line this line l is divide ab in the same proportion ap upon pb 
equal to also this divide to the ac in the ratio aq upon qc this is the two proof now i will write here construction or construct some construction here we make some construction we join take pc as well as say bq here we draw or join two segment join say bq and say pc here we construct these two segment or join these two segment now we will complete the half part of the theorem here from the e means the given part of the sentence or given part of the statement starting from a and then here then the line divides the sides in the same proportion this is the proven part or to prove of proof how to prove this here we see how to prove now we will see how we can prove this here in triangle apq and in triangle bpq in triangle apq and triangle bpq in these two triangle height is same height is same if the height of any two triangle is same then the area of or their ratio of their area is proportionate to the bases therefore area of triangle apq area of triangle apq divided by area of triangle bpq area of triangle bpq is equal to ap upon pb ap upon pb here name equation number 1 the reason is that area proportionate to bases area proportionate to bases this is the equation number 1 now we say we take triangle apq here i will first we take triangle apq the triangle colored by the yellow color or shaded by the yellow color and a triangle shaded by the pink color we take these two triangle now we take the triangle colored by yellow color or shaded by yellow color which triangle in triangle apq here we take in triangle apq and triangle cpq cpq height is same height is same if the height of two triangle is same then their ratio here also i colored the triangle cpq this part is double in the triangle now we take the ratio of their area area of triangle apq apq upon area of triangle cpq is equal to aq upon qc aq upon qc namely equation second the reason is same area area proportionate area proportionate to bases here i write area proportionate to bases these are the two equation now we take in triangle bpq in triangle bpq and triangle cpq and triangle cpq in these two triangle base pq is same base pq is same here the base is same therefore also pq is parallel to the bc therefore height of these two triangle is the perpendicular distance and line l parallel to line l parallel to side bc these two are 
parallel to each other therefore height of these two triangle is same therefore height of these two triangle two triangle is same here height is also same if the height and base of any two triangle is same then their area is also equal therefore we can write area of triangle bpq area of triangle bpq equal to area of triangle which is a triangle cpq cpq namely equation number 3 here the base and the height of these two triangle is same that's why the area is also same therefore we can write it as area of triangle apq area of triangle apq divided by area of triangle bpq is equal to area of triangle apq upon area of triangle cpq here we divide from 1 to and 3 now namely equation number 4 from 1 to and 4 observe this equation 1 equation second and equation 4 here the left hand side of these two equations one and second are same here the left hand sides are same then we can write the right hand side also same therefore we write ap upon ap upon pb is equal to aq upon qc here we complete the statement or proof here the to prove ap upon pb here we prove that ap upon pb equal to aq aq upon qc here we finish the theorem from the given statement we write a given and to prove from the given statement also we construct a figure and it is necessary to construct a figure in the any theorem here we do not construct figure in the theorem then we get zero mark no figure no no mark this is a rule of our exam no figure no mark therefore we construct the figure from the figure we explain proof and we get ap upon pb equal to aq upon qc this is our basic proportionality theorem you may remember it it is the most important theorem now we see converse of this theorem what is mean by converse if we interchange the sentences starting from if and then then we get the statement and then statement is called as converse of the original statement here we uh, interchange the statement starting from if and the statement starting from then then we get the statement that statement is called as converse of the original statement how to interchange these two statement we see the converse of original statement this is the theorem now we see converse what is converse here we interchange the statement from if and then first i will write the statement starting from then therefore we get converse of converse of basic proportionality proportionality theorem here i write the converse of basic proportionality theorem and the converse is if if here then the line divides the side in the same proportion and here if a line divide any two side of a triangle if a line divide any two sides of a triangle in the same ratio in the same ratio we will write the statement starting from then first now we write the statement starting from if it will be then we interchange these two statement if and then then we get the converse of original statement here the converse is if a line divide any two sides of a triangle in the same ratio then the line then the line is parallel to the third side then the line parallel to the third side this is the two prove here we 
interchange the sentences sentences starting from if and then then we get the converse of here the only statement of converse of the basic proportionality theorem in our syllabus the given proof is not in our syllabus therefore we remember only statement of converse of the theorem here the statement is if a line divide any two side of a triangle in the same ratio then the line is parallel to the third side here if a line parallel to the to a side of a triangle intersect the remaining sides in the two distinct point then the line divides the side in the same proportion we will exchange the sentences from if and then then we get the converse of that theorem this is the converse and all of you understand the basic proportionality theorem it is the most important theorem in the first chapter similarity for watching more videos please subscribe our channel also press the bell icon and like and share our videos today we stop here in next video we see property of angle bisector of an angle of an triangle and property of three parallel lines in next video we see these two properties today we stop here